Now, just before the end of last year, I brought you a video from Menindi Lakes out in western New South Wales. And at the time, I did say I had some footage from Mungo National Park and some shots that I wanted to show you. So that's what this video is going to do, is bring you some of that footage uh, and some of those shots. Um, there's not an awful lot of footage of me actually talking to camera. So what I'll do is talk over it, uh, tell you what we're doing and where we are. And, uh, and then what we'll do later in the video is we'll head off to Menindi again and uh, we'll show you some shots from there. So here we go, Mungo National Park, let's go. So as you can tell, the audio was pretty bad there. So let me just talk through what's going on. Uh, I'm just explaining that we're at Mungo National Park. And what we had done was um, we, we booked ourselves in on a, a sunset tour with the uh, Mungo National Parks. Uh, the National Parks representative right here on the screen was amazing. She was very knowledgeable, uh, knew lots about the history and gave us loads of information. Uh, and what's more, she had a great sense of humour too, so just kept everyone entertained uh, along the way. So once you've done a little bit of a spiel then, we took a walk up uh, into uh, the dunes, uh, or into the uh, residuals, so be a bit more accurate to say. Um, she was uh, telling us more about the, the history of the park, uh, covered areas such as Mungo Man and Mungo Woman. If you haven't heard of Mungo Man, I recommend you Google it. This goes back 40,000 years when the um, indigenous people lived here and buried their dead in this, in this area. She was also very gracious and spotted there was a few photographers uh, in the group. Uh, and she said, well, if you're um, here to get some pictures, off you go, get some shots. Uh, and she took the rest of the group uh, to the top of the hill to watch the sunset go down. So all the photographers went off to look for some competi uh, compositions. Here we go. This particular residual, which we're uh, shooting at the moment here, uh, is the one that Mungo National Parks use on the front of their uh, brochure. So, of course, it was uh, very popular amongst photographers. be forgiven for thinking you've just arrived on the surface of Mars. It was uh, just an incredible looking place. Very, very unique. Uh, never seen anything like this before and it just kept getting better and better as the sun went down. The colours just got much more vibrant. <laughs>
So as they say, all good things must come to an end. So we left Mango National Park, drove for about three hours up to uh, Menindi, uh, followed a few uh, dirt roads and a few corrugations. Uh, we had a convoy going, uh, maybe about six or seven vehicles, uh, all amazing people from the Australia Photography Masters Group. You've already seen some of them in the video already. Um, and uh, so we just formed a convoy. Uh, what's really good on a trip like this is uh, if you have two-way radios uh, between the cars. Um, so there's a lot of chatter going on on the radios, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of jokes, a lot of laughs, all good. So this is a typical, uh, the sort of quality of the road we're driving on, not too bad. A couple of the cars were two-wheel drive made it just fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we are back on the shores of uh, Lake Menindi. Uh, this is, time right now is about 7.30, uh, sunset time. Sunset's gonna be about 8 p.m. And we just found this spot here which has these amazing trees sitting just off the shoreline here. Um, they're all dead trees, but they've just got some amazing shapes. And some of them are gonna be in silhouette with the sun going down over the horizon there. We've got trees out in the distance. We've got dead trees, uh, trees very close to the uh, shoreline. Um, I'm trying to talk fairly um, loudly here because the, the amount of noise from behind me with wind and uh, waves breaking on the shore is a bit deafening. So right now what I've done is I've set up in a, in a, uh, a landscape mode here. Uh, I've got a 30 second exposure at F10, ISO 50, I've got a 10 stop ND filter on and the reason why is because as you can see the, the, uh, the, the lake has uh, quite a lot of waves coming in. There's a little bit of breeze around at the moment so uh, the um, the waves are, uh, I, I don't want to capture those waves in my shot. So I've got a 10 stop ND, that's giving me a 30 second exposure which is going to flatten out those waves uh, and we'll see what we get. So here's the first shot here, we're still half an hour before sun, uh, sunset uh, and there's a couple of shots that we can get from this location. So let's get the first one up, check this one out and then we'll come back with another one. Okay, so the time now, 12 minutes past eight. Uh, I've got a long exposure running again, the last shot of the day. We've still got some color in the sky behind the trees here. Um, so if you get a chance to come to Menindi, you have to try this place. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's a small town, they have facilities, they have petrol, uh, hotels, restaurants, you come here. It's uh, really amazing. I wanna make a, a special uh, shout out to uh, a gentleman by the name of Jeff Looney. Now, if you haven't seen Jeff Looney's work, jump onto Menindi, New South Wales Outback Photography by Jeff Looney on Facebook. He has a Facebook page. He is uh, a gentleman in his 70s. He's lived here his whole life and he's out here every day getting these amazing uh, sunsets. Uh, and uh, he shoots birds, he shoots all sorts of things around the lakes here. Uh, jump on his Facebook page, give him some love, Tell him we said hi. He was very, very hospitable and came and showed us a couple of sites to go and shoot out. So thank you, Jeff. Um, you're an inspiration to a lot of photographers. So that's it for, uh, for this trip or for, for this visit anyway. We've got more to come. Uh, and um, we've got a, a two and a half minute exposure right now. So I'm gonna wrap this one up, put the final shot, up, and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Cheers.